Dentary Diag SW test allows you to measure the quantity of bacteria in tap water, domestic hot water and thermal water in just two minutes. To carry out the measurement, you first need to set up the red capped container with your sample water, the filter, the syringe, the measurement device, also called a luminometer or ATP meter. Turn on the device an 8 second automatic calibration will ensue. Ensure that the reagents are at room temperature before starting analysis. Open the box and take out a LumiTube pouch and the two reagent tubes labelled extractant and standard. Open the LumiTube pouch and remove one tube. Ensure that you firmly reseal the pouch. Peel the foil lid from the Lumi tube and put it in a rack. The tube contains a small white tablet containing enzymatic compounds. Unpack the syringe being really careful not to touch the tip. Then remove the plunger and put it on the work surface. Don't touch the black part of the piston. Peel off the cover of the filter pack and screw the syringe onto the filter. Keep the plastic packaging clean. It will be used later on. Take the sample container and pour 50 milliliters into the syringe. Use the marks on the syringe to note down the exact volume. In this example, 50 milliliters. Filtrate all the water sample. Be very careful not to dry the membrane by pushing to the end of the barrel. Filtration concentrates the microorganisms on the filter and removes free ATP. Place the entire syringe on a clean flat surface, being careful not to touch the tip. Now take the clear plastic filter package and lightly squeeze four drops of Dendridiag reagent into the bottom of the plastic packaging. Next take the whole syringe, placing the filter tip in the packaging and pull up the plunger so that the reagent is now in the bottom of the barrel. Maintain the plunger up with your thumb. Take the Lumi tube and place the tip of the syringe into it. Slowly press the plunger with the palm of your hand until the moment a white foam comes out so that the reactive is now in the mini tube. Clip the Lumi tube onto the end of the tube holder, slightly agitate and place the tube and holder in the luminometer. Close the lid and press enter to start the measurement. The result referred to as value R1 will take 10 seconds. Note it down. Open the lid and take out the Lumi tube. Add just one drop of standard into the tube. Don't insert the tip of the dropper bottle into the Lumi tube to ensure a correct calibration. Now once again, clip the Lumi tube onto its holder and tap it slightly on a flat surface to mix it. Reinsert into the device. Close the lid and press enter. Once again, the calculation will take 10 seconds and the result referred to as value R2 is displayed. Note it down. Before turning off the device, remove the tube and its holder. The analysis is done. An app helps you to interpret your results directly. Enter the volume and the two results obtained. The app specifies the quantity of bacteria in your water thanks to a color code. You're informed if a corrective action is required.